How do bus shuttles work? A shuttle bus can either be operated by the local government or privately by an individual or a group of people. Its sole purpose is to transport groups of several people from one point to another, and reduce their walking time. If people in a particular neighborhood walk 15 to 20 minutes every day to the nearest railway or bus station, then the smart entrepreneur can start a shuttle service to pick up people from this neighborhood and drop them off at the railway station or bus junction within 5 minutes. The bus service saves the people 15 minutes of walking time in the morning and evening throughout the year. Since the service helps them save time and energy, they can pay a small fare to the operators, thus supporting a startup business and providing employment opportunities to the local youths. Operators always keenly observe the movement of the population in a particular region. When they see too many people gathering at a spot, they look at it as an opportunity to offer their services. Thus when a spot gathers too many people at a particular time of the day, then it's the same time the shuttle bus should visit this spot every day to get the maximum number of passengers. As a result all shuttle buses operate on fixed schedules. When they visit a particular region at a particular time every day, people get to know them. Hence, they arrange their schedules accordingly to meet the bus on time. The local municipal body, state or federal government provides shuttle services to people living in distant towns and villages. In this setup a bus arrives at every village or town once every hour or two hours and connects them to other transportation hubs like a railway network or an interstate bus network. If the village is very far away from a city then the service may be limited to once or twice a day. The frequency of the service is determined by the demand. If a hamlet has less people then the demand will be less as a result the bus service will be less in frequency. However, if a township has thousands of people, then hundreds of people would be demanding a bus service to reach their places of employment every morning as a result the government body will increase the number of buses visiting this township. Demand leads to profits and money-making opportunities. When there is an opportunity to make profits, then there is a shuttle bus service. Thus it can be rightfully said that demand triggers all shuttle bus operations. If there are no people available to travel between point A and point B, then why would anybody deploy an expensive bus on this route? Major Vehicle Exchange is one such dealership that has sold its mini and mid-sized shuttle buses to thousands of customers all over the United States for several decades. For more information visit our website www.getanybus.com and call the owner Charles Kaufman at 516-333-7483 today.